It looks like we are eating ramen today. He wants actual Japanese ramen, but I was telling him that I feel like the little Tokyo ramen is pretty much the same. You know, it's pretty much authentic ramen, so if you are close to Los Angeles, Little Tokyo would do. Maybe, maybe the taste is a little bit different, but I don't think so. But honestly, I guess some ramen shops do differ on taste, so yeah. Try that and then come to Japan and try it here and let me know what you think, if it's different or not. And at this shop, like there's different things that you can choose from, so then you just have to choose what you want. Dennis already ordered like some dumplings or gyoza as he called them dumplings but I guess they'd be pretty much the same thing like dumplings with like meat inside or so forth. He ordered 12 because we're going to share it 6 and 6 but it's his first time eating it so I'm actually like skeptical of if y'all like it or not. Um, they have different things. Alcohol. Oh they do have soft drinks. But you can just add it to mine. Okay. And then they have different sets. They have Chinese soba. Then they have like kind of show you soba. Then they have ramen. Actually, I might get something different because I don't think they have any kind of spicy ramen here. No, nothing. Oh, mm. yeah, none of these are spicy. There was a spicy sign outside though. Chuka? No. No, none of them say it. Hmm. Maybe I should just get the regular one just like you then. Um, Nikki. Yeah, I'll just get the regular one just like you then. What'd you get? Show you or did you get salt? Show you. Do, 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 do. Nothing extra. And then what else? Oh, you wanted a drink, right? Let's go back to the top and drink. Eh, what is, oh. Oh. Oh, no, they do have melon soda. Okay. Then, how can we pay here? This guy got melon soda. It was 150 yen. For 150 yen, that is really good. That's a dollar. I thought they were gonna give us like one of these glasses right here, but look at him. He got that huge thing. Good luck. So we got the same ramen, but his is a little bit different. Mine is shoyu, then his is salt. So his actually looks what? More wider than mine. Yeah, compared to like mine's. Maybe because of the show you and the oil in it. But that's pretty much the only difference. I really wanted spicy ramen, but I didn't see it on the actual machine. But then again, it's actually hard to get spicy ramen in Japan because not too many Japanese people eat spicy stuff. But then there's always like the spices on the side that you can add, but they don't really do much for me. And now we're waiting for Yosa to come. And this guy is happy because this is the first time eating what ramen inside of Japan. He thinks it's that much better with his melon soda. It's actually pretty funny because I'm <laughs> I, I've never seen anybody drink soda with the ramen, but I've never been to America either. <laughs> oh, hi, Ariazamas, and then Gyosa. Look at it. And this is his first time trying it. Does it look good to you? It looks appealing. It looks appealing. Looking like a whole snack. But it's <laughs> it's actually pretty funny because when I asked him to actually try the gyoza, you made a face like. <laughs> <laughs> like no <laughs> and I was like do you want to try it or not so hopefully he likes it. it and then you mix it so you have that little that glass over there and then you mix it with vinegar and like some kind of oil which is in here in the back so yeah vinegar and some kind of oil I don't know what oh wait vinegar and show you so yeah that's back here so we can do that like right now okay you want to do that you want to demo me yeah, go ahead. Get the vinegar right there in the middle. Yes. yes. Pour it in. Pour it in. Uh, uh, yeah, because I don't know how much you want. Me, 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 me. 
keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. And then show you would be that one closest to you, yeah. I can read. Can you? Oh, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Because I how much you want. If you want more later, then you can add more. Uh, keep going. Stop. Yes. No. Um, that's if you want a different kind of oil. I don't add it. No. So let's see. Do you want to take your first bite? Sure. Let me just figure out the chopsticks first. You should be better. You had sushi yesterday. <laughs> So I dip it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to do the ramen first, actually. <laughs> you should have waited just a bit, baby. Oh, why would you get it? Eat it hot. But what if you don't like it because it's just hot? It's it good? Is it hot? It's good. It really good? It's good. It's good. Are you being honest with us? It's really good. It's really good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? I don't want to give you any more. <laughs> it's really uh -huh. good. Okay. Let me just figure out the... Oh, this is so much of like combo. Actually, try your ramen. Let's see. Because you said you never had it. Mix it around first. Mix it first. Mix it first. I mean, mix the nori inside. The seaweed. The seaweed. Oh, do you eat seaweed? I guess this time I will. Oh, you don't eat seaweed. I mean, you said you want an authentic Japanese ramen. So that's seaweed. seaweed. <laughs> and and not all the way cooked eggs. Because that egg, once you cook, once you bite into it, it the um yolk from the middle is going to pour out into your mouth, and you might. Oh, it's not solid. No, oh. my friend actually couldn't handle that part too much, and but we had that in Little Tokyo. But she couldn't handle the um, it not being all the way cooked, so hopefully you can. So I eat some of this. Well, you don't want to get none of the meat with it. The pork. And then, oh wait. You need that right there. Yeah. Don't forget your, no, the spoon, put juice in it. And then you get to drink the juice right after you eat the ramen. Do you want to wait some? Yeah, wait a bit. Okay. Let's try it. It's really good. Oh shit. Mm. Let's see. Yosa. Mm. This is okay. I've had other gyoza. I've actually been to this, this shop that was famous for gyoza, so that was pretty nice to go. It was in Rokongi, and it was just gyoza. So you just go with people, you just eat gyoza and rice. So you can order like this plate of like 100, 100 different gyoza, and then you just sit there and eat that in rice, and that was amazing. But I didn't get full because I felt like gyoza was just too small, we needed more. But it was a lot of us in. It was actually really good. So we're looking for a closet child, but we're looking for the record side of closet child. So I don't think this is the right one because it doesn't say anything about CDs. Well, it does say et cetera on it. Well, maybe, but let's go outside and see. <laughs> okay, so the first one we went through was not the the regular one, but this looks like it could be because there's like some major bird concerts on the side. So yeah, we found closet child and it is on the third floor. So the map was bad, but good. Kind of, sort of. So, <laughs> yay! Oh. And we are here. Look at that aroma there. Ah, oh. oh, Kiro Kachiu. So, make sure you don't steal anything. But yeah, we made it.
we are leaving. So we just got out of Plaza Child. So just in case you guys like anything that's like Lolita style or if you're into like VK, there's a lot of used stuff that they have there. They also have like stuff that you can get from live venues that they only have there. But obviously the price is a lot higher than what it was at the venue. Or if it's something free, then it's pretty much like paying for the ticket that you didn't pay for it to go to the live. So like that's a thing too. So yeah, depending on what you like, if you like Lolita stuff, and then I would try out Closet Child because they have a lot of different Lolita stuff. Um, I saw a lot of different girls go and go inside and like look for different things. So that's something that you could do if you'd like to dress up Lolita style. And then yes, anything Visual K related that is probably like sold back to them most likely. So it came from a lie, but people sold it back to Closet Child or something like that. Or Closet Child members go to pick up the actual CDs and just sell it. Then yeah, you can find that there. And now we are at Style East. If I'm correct, this one said it has 700 standing and like what? That'll probably be like 200 and something sitting. But it's a little bit bigger than West by like 100 people. So yes. Yeah, now this would be the biggest live video I've been to so far. But I am supposed to go to Tokyo's City Hall in two weeks or so like that for Arurukan's live. So that's a thing too. So maybe that'll probably be the biggest live I've been to when I actually go there. But yeah, we're here to see Diada. So let's get in line. So it looks like we are four and a five. So that is actually really, really close. But supposedly there's like other people that should be in front of us because there was if we came to like their last final or something like that um dennis said that basically they got what pre-registration or something like that for this live and then there's those that are fan club members which we are not so we are four and five of the regular members i don't know how close that is but hopefully it's close pretty cool it has their autographs on it yeah. and we're heading up hey guys so we recently went to go see Diada live the, the live was called what temptation to transgate it was on the 21st of january this year 2018 and it was at sataya o east if i am correct he said that was the first time they actually played at style east so that was pretty cool so i was kind of hoping that they would record it but i mean like i didn't know that was their first time until we actually got there mm -hmm. and he was talking during the mc but I was like, oh, that would have been cool if he actually like recorded because I haven't been in a DVD yet. Yeah. But I would love to be in a DVD in the future. Ah, I guess it's just like whatever, but it'd be like a, oh my God, I was actually in the DVD. But only if you could see me. <laughs> if you can't see me, then it really wouldn't matter. But um, yeah, I was excited about that. But pretty much just going to give you like an overview of how it was for both of us. And we'll just start there. Hmm. So I guess Dennis can go first. Okay. Um, well, we walked in. Um, fortunately, we were kind of like the last ones to go in, so we were all the way in the back. But luckily for me, I'm pretty tall, so I can see like kind of over everyone. So I had a pretty good view, and I'm pretty sure you kind of you were able to see pretty fair, right? Yeah, there was one g some guy or girl that was mm -hmm. in front of me kind of but like i could see it still see everything mm -hmm. but he or the, that person had blonde hair mm -hmm. and i was like okay but like during the dancing when they like go side to side i don't know how but he or, uh, or that person ended up like all the way over here mm -hmm. and i was like okay well then like but i mean i he wasn't really a problem at all but then I, after that, there was pretty much nothing blocking my view. Yeah, the stage was pretty high up, so we were mm. still be able to see them. And then when they came out, oh my god, we, we lost it. <laughs> but, um, Sataya East and Style West, um, it's 670 people, but since it's all standing and you kind the stage is not too far from where you are, mm. kind of. Because it's just like 600, 700 people, but it's kind of like squished in, and it's just like long. So, like... Honestly, you can really see the stage. Huge venue, but it's still like big, especially for Visual K bands, because a lot of them try their hardest just to make it there. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, I really, I was surprised because, you know, they wear a lot of makeup and they do sweat a lot, but even until the end of the show, they still look amazing. <laughs> they still makeup on point, nothing's like falling or tearing. They do kind of like take off their coats off throughout the, throughout the set list, but they still look, my God. <laughs> yeah, I think um, the only one that actually took off clothes was Yoka, which is the mm -hmm. vocalist. Um, I think pretty much he planned when he was going to take off his clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds <laughs> bad <laughs> or good or whatever to, I guess, whoever's watching. Mm -hmm. But um, pretty much it was like a hat. And like at one part of the song, like he threw it off. And I'm sure he probably does that at every every time mm -hmm. he sings that song if he is wearing a hat. Which he generally is always wearing a hat yes, yes. for like his dictator style that he goes mm -hmm. for. You know, you're supposed to call him master. <laughs> and, um, what's it? And then he had his jacket on. He had a jacket on for this one, at least. So, at one point in time, he threw that off. But it's like, what, two or three songs in, he threw the hat off during a song. And then, mm -hmm. like, another three, four in, then he took off his jacket. And then he started trying to do some sexy moves. And mm -hmm. what, like, they always do the pelvic move. Where yeah. They're, I don't know thrusting <laughs> air <laughs> yeah, stuff. yeah like i'm sure it was it, it was it was in the um songs somewhere mm -hmm. most likely but yeah they love that dance um but yeah they i think he pretty much had that plan out uh the guitarists and basses obviously they can't take off anything because they don't have time Shoya did kind of the basses show out kind of took off the i don't know what it's called it's kind of like a kimono-esque Oh, probably like a vest maybe mm -hmm. so he kind of like take it off but then he would just put it back on uh so not really take it off but like what just get some air <laughs> for a few slide seconds it, slide it like kind of go up yeah. just like slide it down the side and then i guess uh -huh. put it back up whenever mm -hmm. maybe if he got cold or something i don't know <laughs> he's like oh, it's getting chilly <laughs> 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 so i might get my coat <laughs> but like yeah pretty much that's probably what it was um but it was really cool um what else you got? Um, I really thought they were gonna fill up the top section. They didn't really have it open, yeah. I believe. Cause their last show sold out, and I think their next upcoming show sold out, but this one really didn't sell out. Hmm. To the last one was Toyosa Pit, if I'm correct. I'm not too sure how big that one is compared to Style mm -hmm. East, but that one is, was actually filmed. Style West, when I went to go see, what, um, who was it? Kizu. When I saw Kizu, mm -hmm. that, the top was even filled up. But, um, it said that they were sold out too later. Well, it said they were sold out in five seconds. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but, um, you know, or maybe a certain section was sold out, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I, I'm not too sure why they said sold out, <laughs> but they had people on top. But um, yeah, when we went to go see Diada Live, they didn't have anybody on the top, if mm -hmm. I'm correct. Um, but it was still packed on the bottom, though. I don't know yeah. how many people were on the top for Keys Alive, because I mean, I wasn't really worried about it, I guess, because mm -hmm. I was I was there to see the band. But um, yeah, they had nobody on the top, so I don't mm -hmm. know if it's sold out. But they had a great they had a great deal of people, so it really mm -hmm. wouldn't matter. Um, made, made at least four or five hundred, mm -hmm. so maybe it wouldn't mm -hmm. be because I think it said about seven hundred. Because I felt, well, I don't know. The, the guy calling out numbers, he did it way differently than I than they did with Kizu because Kizu actually called out like one to ten, mm -hmm. twenty to thirty, and stuff like that. Yeah, because DR has different tiers per ticket, so they have A, B, C, D, and then there was us, like, yeah. the fourth tier. But I didn't even know how that worked, because then it mm -hmm. seemed like nobody bought our tier tickets. Or if they did, because this is also um, pretty general for people to actually buy tickets but not go. Mm -hmm. It's a way of, what, saying that they're supporting the band from abroad or... Mm -hmm. just without going or maybe they can't make it but they feel like if they support the band by buying the ticket without even going then mm -hmm. that they're still helping the band stay afloat um still different from america i mean yeah. like bands get nothing here and mm -hmm. i feel like you know beyonce got herself a mansion so <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I don't know what's going on in japan but they should probably fix that mm -hmm. but it's not just japan i think it's all of asia because even like what korean um pop stars they go through that where it's like 
10 mm -hmm. people living in one room and stuff like that so mm -hmm. maybe it's just hard to be in the industry in Asia it seems mm -hmm. like it you don't get majority of your gains back you give it to the company oh I should get into a company <laughs> <laughs> but yo, okay back to Diana <laughs> but um, for me I always enjoy the dances the most mm -hmm. because I don't know the dances so it's like good to like try to see when they're gonna do it I know like the general one when they like kind of like put their hands like in front of each other and they come out and they put it in front of each other and come out because mm -hmm. girls use that in all what all different like bands but mm. it's just like knowing when they're gonna actually do it um head bangs like the um go on front generally like you just know like it's the the drums put together and it just goes doom 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 do. so you know you have to like just head bang going forward and then you know the head bang side to side is just like it's just a crazy part so everybody's just head banging side to side and then the next one is like the dancing side to side right then they're coming back to the left to the right to the left and like usually the band members already know when they want to do that so probably from like their first few lives they get the girls to know when mm -hmm. to go left and right it's usually well right first and then left but um generally everybody knows when to do it First time at the other life, so I didn't know exactly when. But once you once you do it like one time though, right? Yeah. Like once you do it like one time, then you kind of get the hang of it. There was only one song uh, that I can where they oh, like, the, the hand like it's like, like this, and then like then they put it down, and then I don't I, go down, and then they go to the left. They were like. I don't know because I, I felt like it was it was changing every time like I saw mm -hmm. this girl and then I was like Maybe. are they giving like what is it like the um the sign of the cross or something yeah <laughs> that's what I that's what I thought at first I was like is the that Catholic thing yeah like, so I was like <laughs> did they go like this or something I was like what's going on but I was like new to the whole thing so I was like what is happening just move your hand and just yeah <laughs> yeah but like I was just like but like I was like, I'll just do whatever, you know. Mm. And then people were watching me, and I, I am pretty much out of all the people that was in her life, the one that feels the music the most. I can't stop <laughs> swaying my body. Everybody, there's especially ballads. Mm -hmm. Japanese people just kind of like stand and just like sit there like this. But like I can't, uh, especially ballads. I love ballads, so I I was swaying like the hell out of a sway. And then I know there's people behind me, so I, I always wonder what they're thinking. Like, mm. wow, like is it like wow, or is it like why isn't he standing still? So <laughs> right? <Stop it. laughs> like what? But nobody ever says anything, right? <laughs> so it's it's cool. But I I think that's usually like my favorite. Um, Part of the lies is the dancing because mm. I don't really know the dances or whatever and it's pretty cool that they're doing stuff mm. instead of staying there because sometimes I guess you don't know what to do with your arms and stuff well, in I America mean, it's very like you just do whatever you just well, feel whatever sure. they, but they over here it's very busy. coordinated so that's what I really liked everyone's just like going together it's like a little army of fans and then he's the dictator I would <laughs> say it's coordinated all the way because yeah. still they don't know like some people like if you miss when you start the hand movement mm. or if somebody goes like starts to the left to the right sometimes that's off he is pretty much right where majority of it is coordinated where they do I guess they know to do the right first and then the yeah. left but if you miss that first what whatever what Furitsuke starting mm. then you're pretty much like off because now you're going like this but the other girls going like this kind yeah. of thing you know um the, the only other one is like oh yeah and, I mean everything's about rhythm and I'm not gonna lie a lot of people did not have the rhythm <laughs> like there was some people like fist pumping at the wrong time and I was like oh okay you know that you was <laughs> I did it like one time where you guys were doing this and I was like, oh. I saw it. No, 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 no. Hold up. Hold up. It wasn't once. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, but I was like, okay, whatever. Because like, it was a learning experience anyway. We're both learning. Okay. Both learning. Yeah. I'm, 
still a little bit better obviously because i went to the other ones and like i said they have like mm. this the same thing so i well, i don't think the next ones that we go to are They're pretty really much really heavy yeah, so, so i don't I, think so I, I don't i don't think they have soft enough parts to do that so maybe just headbangs in general yeah so pretty much just headbanging but diada was really really fun live um you guys should really really go check them out if mm. you haven't um they just released the album versus last year november obviously my birthday month so you have to get that right <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah it was pretty amazing i especially like the first half of the album mm. that was the same for you so the first half of the versus album was pure like amazingness for me especially um didn't say the same thing yeah but then i want to say for me it, the second half wasn't as amazing as the first half but i still love diada so so I'm worth checking out. Still worth checking out if you guys haven't got it. So I would mm -hmm. try that out. I'll link the videos below if I can, like always. Mm -hmm. I hope you can actually see it. Because that's usually the problem that you can't see some of the videos here or whatnot. But I'll try to do that. And if I ever see them live again, I'll give you an update on them and any other band that I go see in the future. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, wow. You're still here. Oh, wait. Don't forget to check the description box below. I put a lot of different things in there, like my lovely friends, my social media, just in case you want to catch up with me on Twitter or Instagram and so forth like that. So make sure to please check that out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.